Hello there, adventurers, and welcome to Wally DM. Today, our adventuring party is trying to solve a puzzle and escape a labyrinth. There's four different murals, and they're trying to figure out what goes in these strange two by two empty square holes. The entire time they're trying to solve this puzzle, there's a magic mouth that just won't shut up. Is it there to be distracting? Or can the magic mouth help out a little bit? This is the puzzle of the magic mouth. So in the magic mouth puzzle, our adventuring party is in a room kind of set up similar to here. Now there can be other items in here. There can be desks, there can be tables, there can be treasure chests, um, statues, whatever, whatever you want to put in there. But this is the basic puzzle setup. Now we have four murals. So we have one, two, three, four. And underneath each mural is a two by two inch square hole. And you can let the PCs know right away as soon as they see these that it looks like there's an object that is supposed to go inside of those. Now that's the puzzle setup, but as you may have noticed, there's also an eight foot long magic mouth along this wall here. And as soon as our adventuring party comes into this room, this thing is not going to shut up. It's been alone for a long time. It's really looking forward to being able to talk to other people. And so it's gonna be telling stories. It's gonna be asking questions. Heck, it might even give the adventuring party a riddle. Now this magic mouth may play a part in solving this puzzle, or it may be a distraction. We're gonna find out in just a little bit. Now again, the entire puzzle revolves around these murals. Now our first mural is of a brewer. And this brewer is in a storage room. He is surrounded by kegs and he has a table full of hops. And it looks like this brewer is tasting a beer, perhaps one that he just crafted. Our second mural is of a baker. And this baker is in the kitchen. He has an open oven door. And in one hand, he has a cookie sheet full of pastries. And with the other hand, he's stuffing his mouth with a delicious pastry. This third mural is of a butcher, and the butcher seems to be chopping up meat and fish, and it looks like he is packing them for storage. And the mural will actually depict what looks like a storage room with stacks of seafood and stacks of meat. Now this fourth mural is of a gardener, and in the background, it's gonna be a very bright and sunny day. There's gonna be a garden in the back, and there's gonna be a small table, and the gardener is actually sitting at the table and she has a pitcher of water and she has a bunch of lemons that are chopped in half. Now you may have figured it out already that what I'm going for is a bitter taste with the brewer drinking a beer because hops really make a beer bitter and with the baker we have pastries which are very sweet and with the butcher we have a bunch of meat and fish that are going into storage and if you're familiar with medieval times to store or preserve meats and fish, you're gonna need salt. So when you cook these meat and fish, they're gonna have a very salty taste. And then finally, our gardener is sitting down with what was known in medieval times as a lemon drink, and that is just water and lemons, and that is going to have a sour taste. So while our adventurers are trying to figure out this puzzle, what exactly is the Magic Mouth doing? When I ran this game, I had it doing some silly stuff. It was just talking really fast and making a lot of gargly nonsense. It was reciting lyrics from famous songs, and it even gave the party a riddle. Now, once I felt like the players had investigated the room enough, the magic mouth stuck out its tongue, and lo and behold, there were the four two by two inch white cubes that they needed to solve the puzzle. They may feel a little grainy to the touch, but they all look exactly the same and it will immediately become evident to the players that these four cubes go into each of these four holes underneath the murals. But they all look identical. So with that information, do you know which of these identical looking cubes go into each hole? Or do you know a way to find out which one of these cubes go into each of these holes? I'll give you one more second if you'd like to figure it out. Did you get it? Great. Well, there is only one way to tell which cube goes into which hole. If they put them in there randomly, something bad is probably going to happen. And we'll explain that in a little bit. 
But what the players need to do is they need to take the cube and they need to taste it. That's right. They need to take this two by two inch white cube and either lick it or taste it. And when they do that, if they lick this first one, be like, well, this cube tastes sweet. And if they lick the second one, this one tastes bitter. This one tastes sour. This one tastes salty. And after they taste each of these cubes, they'll be able to figure out by looking at the paintings which one goes where. And once they put all four square cubes into the correct position, the magic mouth will give way to a portal or open a door and the adventuring party can continue on with their adventure. Now then, one of the things that you can do if the party already has the four white cubes and they're not sure about the taste theme is they can come over here and investigate or stare at this puzzle. And when I ran it, like when they stared at the brewery, I had them make an investigation check with a uh, fairly low DC. I think it was like a 12 or something like that. And as they stare at this mural, they actually get sucked into the painting and the environment around all of them changes. So in this so in instance, I had one of the PCs staring at the brewer and then all of a sudden the entire environment changed and we had like a little cut scene and there was a brewer in there that invited them to taste the beer. And if one of them tasted the beer, they would know that it tasted bitter. I told them this is a delicious ale. It's better than you've ever had. And it's super bitter. It must be from some of the hops that they put in it. And the same thing with the other one. So if this one came over here and, and did an investigation check and was looking or staring at the mural of the gardener, I had the entire environment shift around the players and now they were in this scene. So it was a very hot sunny day. There is an elderly woman sitting at a table and she was taking a break. She says, thank you for all your help in the garden. Please sit down and have a drink with me. We need to, we need to cool off and refresh. And if they took her up on her offer and had a drink, they would know that they were having some lemon drink or lemonade and it was very sour. So again, we can use the murals and use some effects to help the players solve the puzzle. So that's all I have for you today. That was the magic mouth puzzle. And I just wanted to do something really cool using four of the senses of taste. I wanted to use bitter, sour, sweet, and salty. And I think it came together really nice. When I ran this in my one shot, and again, I apologize that it wasn't live streamed. We had some technical difficulties, but when I did run it, um, they had a, they took, it took them a little bit to figure it out. And then, uh, Dungeon Danigan decided to, uh, first he licked the mural that, um, of, of the beer and it tasted dusty. And he was like, well, I licked the cube then. And then when he licked the cube, I said, that tastes bitter. It tastes very similar to the beer that you tasted a little bit ago. And then he put two and two together, started licking the cubes, found out that each one tasted different and was able to put them in the two by two holes. So once the magic mouth gives the characters the four cubes, what happens if they just take each of the four cubes because they all look identical and they just start placing them under each mural randomly? We could have all kinds of things happen. Maybe the cubes melt and it forms a poisonous gas that fills the room and they take some type of damage that way. Perhaps each of the four cubes explode and there's like a 15 foot cone or a blast radius and they take damage that way, some type of acid damage or something of that nature. Or maybe the magic mouth just lets out the shrill and the adventurers will take some psychic damage. But up to you as the DM or GM, what you want to do as far as if the players don't taste or lick the cubes to know exactly where they go. Regardless of the damage or what happens on a failure, we need to reset the puzzle so they can try again. So I would at least have the cubes dissolve or evaporate so that the square holes are once again available and have the magic mouth maybe just give a tisk 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 and I can't believe you failed. Well, I'll let you try again. It sticks out its tongue and once again there are four more cubes so they can try to solve the puzzle one more time. So if our players fail the puzzle once already, they're probably going to need a few hints. We need to get them to taste these cubes because they're identical and the only way to tell them a different tell them apart is by taste. So maybe if we do where the cubes explode and send out a 15-foot uh, cone of uh, acid or whatever from the explosion, perhaps some of that hits the players in the face and they're able to taste a little bit. You know, maybe their mouth was open or something like that and be like, you know, you take six points of acid damage from this cube exploding, 
but it also, some of it gets in your mouth and you can taste that it. it tastes really sweet. Or perhaps when the magic mouth gives them the cubes, it'd be like, well, here you go. I hope you get it right this time. I would really like for you to taste success or something like that. So maybe we can use some puns or, or something to that effect to help our players solve the puzzle. So that is the magic mouth puzzle. And what did you think of it? Is this something that you could use in your game? If so, what types of hints would you give your players to eventually get them to lick or taste the white cubes and put them in the right spots? Don't forget to leave a comment below. Let's get a discussion going. Join my Discord channel if you'd like to chat. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and on to the next.